Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio, where I use this content to trick you into thinking I'm capable of playing the Yu-Gi-Oh card game on any kind of level at all, part of the burden of being the best yu gi -Tuber in my street. So why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe for me, whether it's just because you like trash tier content or maybe just because you pity me. I don't mind either way, I just need every bit of help I can get. This content is brought to you in association with my Chungai buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. If you want to find excellently priced singles or maybe you just want to shift some of that cardboard crack you have a little bit too much of, they'll be more than happy to give you the hookup. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. So we're on for another Locals vlog. These have been doing really, really well, so I thought I'd uh, go ahead and do the same again. Today is marked something a little bit different. You'll have seen it at the beginning of the video, me showing you all of my cards in a big bag. So what exactly is happening there? Well, we'll get to that later on. We're just waiting for Jam Jam to come pick us up and do the usual, I guess. What are you doing? What are you doing? lost in thought. He's probably thinking about money, to be honest with you. Doesn't even realise I'm recording him. I wonder how long before he realises. <laughs> there we go. Oh, bless him. He looks tired. Smile. I said smile. How are you feeling? Dead. Dead? Yeah. And what, what's this the cure for? Uh, Self-inflicted. Self-inflicted? Yeah. Breakfast has been had and we are just about to hit locals itself. Hopefully my hand stays still enough that you don't have to just stare at my fucking chin the whole time like you said. Or my chins. Chins. It's what beards are for, I just cover this shit up. Probably thinks I'm recording the next one. <laughs> Little does she know I am. So round one of the day is down. Uh, unfortunately, they lost to Slimer Dragons, of all things. Um, I made him go first. I lost game one, I won game two, and then game three opened the absolute nuts, uh, making me go first. I went for Zexal Lock, and then he just drop it, and then that's the end of that. I uh, couldn't play through. I had a couple of interrupts, but it wasn't enough. He opened an absolute god hand, so an unfortunate loss there, but it is what it is. Uh, Cyber Dragons can get you in one turn. He almost did. Uh, fortunately, I had Wall in hand to save me for an extra turn, but I was kind of that like one card away from being able to play. Unfortunately, we couldn't get there. It all came down to me getting away with an Alistair to try and get the invocation in hand, and if I got that, I probably would have been fine. Unfortunately, had the imperm set, and that was the end of that. So, uh, round one down, round one lost to Cyber Dragons. This fuckhead played against me with a deck that tries to kill itself. Yeah, pretty much. I think. Evil Eye? Yeah. That is the tactic, isn't it? Kill yourself yeah. and then hope that they can't stop you killing yourself before you kill them. I can't die quick enough. Can't die quick enough. So we play against the best deck to play into time with, I guess. Where they eat their own life points in exchange for beat sticks. Seems like a viable tactic. To be fair, you won one game. Yeah, I did win the first game. Yeah. So, it's okay. 
Yeah, and to be fair, I opened Deadass, one of the games too, which apparently is a running theme for me. I could play, I could play Sky Striker and Brick every game, like Tier Zero Sky Striker and Brick every game. Just that guy. Hmm. Well, I, I thought it was impossible with Invoke Numeron, and yet here we are. I play like a million ways to get to Numeron, and it still doesn't work. So there you go. So round two, win. One more to go and then locals number two after a short break. What is that? Oh, it's out of some binder. Do you like them? Mummy sleeves. Do you like them? I don't want to use them. Do you do, like them? Do they wipe easy? So you do want to use them. <laughs> <laughs> If you got a deck swath. Look how red you're getting. You can tell when you've been dealing with money. That's money. Don't listen to him. When he do deals with money, he gets red. Look at that hair. It's beautiful. So third and final round for locals number one. Uh, we lose two broads, who I'm going to be bringing you a deck profile of. So you can get to see uh, how I got whooped. He's playing Infernoble. Um, solid deck, pretty crazy. Combos off, goes nuts. And uh, you just kind of have to accept it, I guess. Good stuff. Waiting for locals number two, I guess. Roll again. Three. Not quite as good. Locals 2, Electric, Boogaloo, the classic is back. So we are back for another Locals on the same day. Uh, if you don't understand how this works, and let me explain, we split it into two different sessions because there's a limit on the amount of players that can attend. And of course, with this extra slots available, then we're allowed to sign up for the second one as well. So interest of fairness, everyone's got the opportunity, but of course, if there are slots available, having to pay up. Well, I'm paid in for round two again. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, round one of Locals number two, we play against Generator, Numeron. Uh, the generator stuff's kind of weird and kind of annoying. Uh, I thought it was fine and then I got OTK'd because Numeron network's a thing. Um, but luckily we ended up taking the win in the end, so it wasn't too bad. Um, once you sort of figure out what you're up against, it's not too bad. Uh, the generator stuff's fairly annoying, but it's fairly straightforward on how you deal with it, so that's okay. The Numeron stuff was more the scary part and I just opened Ogre and uh, cosmics and set rotations like it was my job and we were all good. That's how you get wins apparently. Uh, not that I'm used to that. We don't normally open the cards we need to see, so yeah. Hopefully more of that for the rest of the day. That'd be great. Here's my opponent not turning up for his round. His name's Sam and he's a Guno. It's not his fault. Oh, here he is. Big talk for a guy who can't turn up at his table on time. I know, I'm going to get banged now. Talking shit. Uh, so round two of oh, oh, locals to uh, we away. lose to Dragma. Brandon plays James. Uh, tight game, lost in time. Uh, a bit unfortunate, but there you go. It was a good back and forth match. We had a bit of a stalemate in game two. <laughs> Not this guy again. So final round down for the day. Uh, we beat Broads this time round, um, who we lost to in the previous uh, locals of the day. So we finished 3-3 three, three overall across the day. Uh, two of those were losses to time. Um, and one of them was a bit of a bricky sort of game. So it's not too bad, actually. Um, I've done quite well. Games that I wasn't necessarily sure I would win, I've played a lot better in. Uh, it's been a much better tournament this week than it was last week. Also, because I'm playing the deck properly. Last week, I was trying to play going first too much. Uh, whereas, kind of, you, you want to play going second and go first if you absolutely have to, and then just kind of protect your excellent and hope for the best. Um, I changed the deck's pattern a little bit, the siding options were much better, so overall just a lot better of a week, so definitely can't complain with how it's gone, hopefully even better next week again. Let's flex. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fuck off. And attempt to dive too soon. <laughs> yeah. The supers are really hard to see. Let's see what you get. Nine packs. It's got to be something glorious. Oh, nine no, locals. Oh! oh. <laughs> I got two. Wow! Old I've got, I've got both seats. Come on, just open them. Let's see it. He wants to go. You've got five minutes. It's not even five minutes. It's three minutes. Go on, let's see it. T tell me you don't want to see the opening, Adam. Dips in an idea. I mean, it's all kids anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, starlight, starlight. How fucking hairy his arms are. Thriller monsoon over here. Oh, skiz. Skiz. Sam, it's got to be over 40 quid to be worth it. That's what we're hoping for the seventh. Oh. Yeah, Max. <laughs> Fleur. It's not worth enough though, is it? Yeah, it's 20. Oh, yeah, Jams are hard, they're, they're, they're 39 99 I've still got one more secret. Oh, I No, no. You don't have to have another secret. Oh, you see that fusion, you're like, please. I'll try and work out where the hollow was. Hot <laughs> oh, no, eyes. Rest in peace. That is a shit box. Flare and Yeah. Look it's at this, whole box pack fun. opening in like three minutes. Can't stretch it out for content. How am I gonna put adverts on that? I need minimum Sorry. 10. Minimum Minimum, well, who cares? I use I use like two minutes of intro and outro, super. so that kills half of that anyway, so it's fine. It's most of the way there. Sure that was a super like that, right? A big waste of time. <laughs> Speed droid block Sorry. and roll. So, so, oh, the, like, the, the, the box is worth 40 altogether. So. <laughs> Thunderhand's okay, right? It's, it's a little bit off tab at least. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Broken box opening, that's it. That's what we're going to put the title as. I mean, the box might be broken. Tier zero. Pack opening. Worth pack zero pack Worth opening. zero, that's about yeah, right. You just do like the Tell me, where did I go wrong? No, it compares to And so that does more or less bring us to a close for the locals of today. Double locals again this week, probably the same next week uh, if the spots are available. Um, for those of you who are interested in what I was doing with all that bulk of cards, I actually have uh, now sold up, technically. I'm not going anywhere though, I am still going to be playing the game. I'm now in uh, a bit of a partnership with Jam Jam Cards UK, uh, so you'll be seeing plenty more content surrounding that, surrounding the other players and members of the team. Um, hopefully in the, in the coming events, the coming time and all of that on the channel. Uh, so if you are looking for some cheap singles, now is the time to get that plug in. Go ahead and check out Jam Jam Cards UK. The link is in the description uh, and you'll be seeing plenty more of that kind of content coming from there as well. So expect to see some higher quality deck profiles as well because now I'll have access to the kind of cards I want to be putting into these videos for you guys and hopefully getting some better results uh, local. So I'm not playing like budget alternatives quite as much. And all that good stuff but that's enough waffling on uh, thank you very much for checking in guys hopefully you've really enjoyed this locals vlog if you have please let me know these have been doing relatively well uh, and i'd like to continue to do them as long as you'll continue to keep watching them thank you very much for checking in guys hit subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content i put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.